you have a video called The Simp About Video. What's a simp and what about them? A simp uh, is a guy who is basically elevating women on this incredibly artificial pedestal. And he is giving them attention. He's giving them resources, which is what women want. He's giving them attention. He's giving them money, time, yeah. and he's receiving nothing in return. And in most cases, these women are, we call them now mids. They're very unexceptional. They're not attractive. You know, you could almost justify that if this woman were like the most beautiful woman <laughs> in the state. But these women are all like painfully average. But because guys are so antisocial now and their fathers have failed them, they didn't teach them how to talk to women the first girl that shows these guys any attention they fall for and they're willing to move out of state to go live next to these girls just I in know. a chance of going on a date. Yeah. It is the most pathetic thing. They're betas, aren't they? They're the most beta. pathetic thing <laughs> that, that's imaginable. But yeah. This is like the state of young men in this country. They're uh, they're simps. They're they're uh, yeah, they're not willing to have any self-respect and like myself, you know, save myself for my uh, my woman who has not produced some form of pornography of herself. She's not <laughs> going to be of average attractive uh, quality. She's going to be well above average. So it's unfortunate. Do seeing a mother increase the number of simps? Sorry. Do do seeing a mother have anything to do with the increase of simps? 100%, 100%. It's, it's literally, it's causal. And it's not just because of the lack of the father being there to guide them and teach them how to be a man. It's exactly as you said, it's the single mother in itself. Yeah. Because if you grow up with a single mother, your entire conception of the world is based on how do I get my mom to like me? You need the approval of your mother because if your mother's mad at you, she's not gonna feed you, she's not gonna do whatever, she's not gonna act as your mother, she's not gonna nurture you, which you need as a young boy, you need to be nurtured right. by your mother. And so they grow up with a single mom, and the mom, of course, because she's crazy, which is probably why she's a single mom, has no idea of what it takes to like court a woman. So she'll tell the son, oh, you have to just be nice to girls. You have to get them flowers. Yeah, we'll let them walk all over you. Women don't like that. Women don't like nice guys. They actually resent them. You know, the best thing that a woman could ever say to a man is something to the effect of, you're such a jerk, but I don't know why I still like you. Something like that. That is, if you hear that, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> So. You definitely have the old school mentality, man. Well, you have to. You know, the country was better back then, so you have to sort of mimic that if possible. It's mind-blowing to see it, though, and you're so clear about it. Two quick other things. Can a person overcome or can you stop them from being a simp? Yes. And how? Uh, stop talking to women, not indefinitely, but until you stop being a simp, stop giving them resources unless you're getting reciprocity. That's, by the way, what defines the simp, the reciprocity or the lack thereof. If you're dating a girl and you really like her, be nice to her. Sure, get her presence. But if she's leaving you on open, she's not answering your text messages, have some self-respect, stop simping after her. Go to the gym, start lifting weights, start eating more red meat, more eggs, take care of yourself, figure out what your mission is and dedicate everything to that. Your priority is not your wife or your woman. It is your mission. She wants that. She wants a guy who has a mission. She doesn't want some guy whose mission is to be super nice to her and tell her that she looks really hot in her size eight bikini. That's not what she wants. She wants a <laughs> guy who is driven and focused on something greater than himself that she can attach herself to. So figure out what that is for your life. It could be being the manager of an ace hardware, or it could be being the president. As long as you have something, that's all you need. And you will find yourself a relatively decent woman. So I went and had a physical exam last year and the doctor tested my testosterone level. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he told me it was through the roof and he was surprised, right? I'm like, of right <laughs> You say that the testosterone levels in modern men have gone way down. Yes. First of all, tell the folks what testosterone is and why has it gone down in modern men? Testosterone is the male hormone. And I cannot stress this enough. You are your hormones. They, come, they are, are everything about you, your, your musculature, your bone development, your brain development, all of that is influenced by your male hormone or if you're a woman, your female hormone. So what's happened in the last few generations is we've had testosterone go down. And they talk about this the same way they talk about everything bad that happens uh, that's going to hurt, you know, white American men. Oh, this is just happening. Well, we don't know why it's just happening. No, we know exactly why it's happening. And it's because our lifestyles have become more sedentary. People are sitting around all day. They're unhealthy. 
healthy, the foods they're eating contain microplastics. They contain phthalates, estrogens, things like that. Our water supply has runoff estrogen in it from birth control. So you've got men, soy too, for example, they're eating all of these things that are directly lowering their testosterone. And we just think this is just happenstance. Now, also, We've been fed a lie that as you get older, your testosterone naturally decreases. That's actually not true. You're a great example of this. If you live a healthy lifestyle, yeah. your testosterone, sure, maybe it's going to dissipate a little bit, but it's not just going to start dropping as you get older. What that is, is the manifestation of a lifestyle pattern of eating unhealthy, sitting around all day. Over time, yeah, your testosterone is going to be lower as you age because of that. But if you're staying active and staying healthy, that's not going to go down. And if your testosterone is lower, you become more agreeable. You become more susceptible to the herd consensus. There are literally studies that have proven as you increase people's testosterone, they become more conservative because being conservative <laughs> just means being normal, yeah. quite literally. Yeah. I was surprised when the doctor told me that because when I moved here to LA, I heard that your testosterone goes down, mm. especially when you get older. So I and my doctor was surprised it was gone through the roof. Uh, what made you interested in that? That you were I think that that's the root of everything. Uh, I mean, you are your hormones and we have people who are dysgenic, they're androgynous, they feel unconfident. I mean, if you have adequate and normal testosterone levels, you will literally be happier. You will be more confident. Yeah, you yeah. will feel more like a man. You will be able to say no to things. You will be less averse to conflict. I know, but you're such a young man. When you like walking down the road one day and say, you know what, let me see what my testosterone level is. What may, what may literally you that's because my friends and I were, <laughs> We're giving each other a hard time calling each other, you know, beta males. <laughs> we're calling each other, oh, you have low T because, so I have a lot of body hair and my friends were making fun of me for it. And I was like, why are you mad? Because my testosterone is higher than yours. And they were like, no, it's not. I was like, yeah, it literally, that's what that means. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So we went and we got our T measure, got our blood drawn and I did have higher testosterone. So I felt very good about myself, but <laughs> it's true. Like if we had men with normal testosterone levels, like we did all throughout history, they look different. They look more like men. They act more like men because what defines male behavior is testosterone above all other things. Amazing, man.